hello friends now in this video we are going to check enrollment number and username should be unique in student registration form so now in student registration form you can see in last video we already did this code so now here we are going to check enrollment number is unique or not so here i am going to check one variable either count is equal to zero and you need to write code here SQL command cmd1 is equal to create command now here we are going to write select query select star from student underscore registration where enrollment number is equal to single quotes in between double quotes plus plus sign and here we are going to write enrollment number dot text now cmd1 dot execute non query then data table dt1 new data table then sql data adapter d1 is equal to new sql data adapter cmd1 now here we are going to check how many records we found count is equal to dt1 dot rows dot count dot two string here convert dot two int 32 and now we are going to check if count greater than zero it means this type of enrollment number is found otherwise else so we need to keep this whole data inside else up to here and if enrollment number found then we are going to give alert this enrollment number already registered now first of all we are going to check which enrollment number is registered so we can try this one we need to wait until this table record is loaded yeah enrollment number is 12345 5 i am going to do here 6 123456 okay now we are going to check Okay, so here I am going to write one, two, three, four, five, six, and I am not robot, and I am going to do register now. So you can see we got a message this enrollment number already registered because this is already registered, that's why. Okay, so now we are going to check this way like username should be unique. So here now we need to write code here. This is for Taking username unit and here for taking username. Unit. Okay, so we need to write code inside this here. So for here, what we have to do here, just we need to take one more variable count one is equal to zero. Then you need to copy this same code and just paste here and just change here to 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 here count one so we can do here count two so it will easier for you count two and then two okay now here we are going to use where username is equal to
username.text and now here we are going to compare if round 2 greater than 0 it means we need to give here error otherwise we need to do else and in this else we need to cover this one now cut this and i am going to paste here comment so this way we can check now here we need to set a message just copy this and we are going to set here this username already available please now we are going to check which username we have we have username is Amit ok so we are going to check now So username is Amir. I am going to change some other enrollment number so we are not getting username error. Now here. And now register now. So you can see we got error message. This username already available. Please choose another. So our code is perfect. Now we are going to write any other values which is not available in table. Here I am going to change an image. Yeah, just I take an image. Now I am not robot. And now I am going to perform registers. So you can see record inserted successful. It means this all condition is work properly. So now I am going to refresh here and we are going to check we got new record or not. Yeah, you can see we got new record. So this way you can check enrollment number and username like enrollment, enrollment number should be unique and username should be unique. So if you like my video then please like it and share it maximum so maximum people can use this. Thank you so much for watching my video.